Schweizer Satellite Inns produces satellite earth stations that sell for one lakh dollar each. The firm's fixed cost are two million dollar. Fifty earth stations are produced and sold each year. Profits total five lakh, and the firm's assets are five million dollar. The firm estimates that it can change its production process, adding four million dollar to assets and five lakh dollar to fixed operating cost. This change will reduce variable cost per unit by ten thousand dollar and increase output by twenty units. However, the sale price on all units must be lowered to ninety five thousand dollar to permit sales. of additional output the firm has tax loss carry forwards that renders its tax rate zero its cost of equity is 16% and it uses no debt required what is the incremental profit to get a rough idea of project's profitability what is the project's expected rate of return for the next year should the firm make the investment why or why not would the firm's break even point increase or decrease if it made the change would the new situation expose the firm to more or less business risk than the old one we have to calculate the incremental profits and to calculate the incremental profits we need to calculate the variable cost we will find the variable cost from the existing project and apply this variable cost in the proposed project to find the profits to calculate the variable cost profit is equal to revenue minus fixed cost minus variable cost into quantity profits is 5 lakh revenue is 50 multiply by 1 lakh sale price minus fixed cost that is 2 million minus 50 v and by simplifying this equation we will get variable cost by 50000 this variable cost will be used to calculate the variable cost of the proposed situation 50000 and this will decrease by 10000 so variable cost in the second project or proposed project will be 40000 after that we will calculate the profits in the second situation calculate profits in second situation profit that we have to calculate is equal to revenue that is 95000 sale price and quantity will be 70 units minus fixed cost that is 2.5 million minus variable cost 40000 multiply by quantity that is 70 units so our profits will be 13 lakh 50000 and by using this proposed profit we can find the incremental profit and incremental profit is equal to new minus old that is 13 lakh 50000 minus 5 lakh so incremental profit will be 8 lakh 50000 after that we will find the rate of return rate of return is equal to profits 
divided by investments and for existing situation rate of return will be 5 lakh divided by 5 million that is 10% and for proposed project it will be 13 lakh 50000 divided by 9 million and that is equal to 15% after that we will find the break even point that was second requirement and break even point is equal to fixed cost divided by price minus variable cost and for existing project fixed cost is 2 million divided by 1 lakh price minus 50000 so break even point will be at 40 units and for second project fixed cost is 2.5 million divided by price that is 95000 minus variable cost that is 40000 and the answer is 45 units so the break even point increases from 40 to 45 units with the investment lastly we have to find that whether the firm is exposed to more or less business risk than the older one and uh, business risk will be measured by using the fixed cost as a percentage of total cost so business risk fixed cost divided by total cost and fixed cost is 2 million 2 million plus total variable cost that is 2.5 million and business risk for the first project is 44.44% and for proposed project fixed cost 2.5 million divided by total cost 2.5 million plus variable cost 28 lakh and the business risk is 47.17% as we have already discussed that if a firm is having more fixed assets its break even point will be achieved at high number of units and it will has higher business risk the proposed project has higher fixed cost so its break even point is achieved at high number of units and it has higher business risk